This is the first time you've agreed to do an interview. Yes. Why did you decide to sit down? I don't do anything wrong. Cindy Yang came to the U.S. 20 years ago. She became a U.S. citizen, created a string of day spas, and loves President Trump. You're a really devoted Donald Trump supporter. Yes. But today in Florida, she told us the last few weeks have been a nightmare. Ever since Robert Kraft was charged with soliciting sex at the Orchids of Asia Day Spa. And the Miami Herald reported Cindy Yang was the original owner of the spa. A series of high-profile articles since have raised questions about whether she was engaged in illegal businesses, whether she was selling access to President Trump, and whether she's been working for the Chinese government as a spy. It even led congressional Democrats to request counterintelligence and criminal investigations of Yang by the FBI. Ms. Yang also reportedly created a business named GY U.S. Investments that may be selling access to the president and members of his family to clients from China. If true, these allegations raise serious counterintelligence concerns. But Yang, who sold the spa seven years ago, says none of it is true. She's given money to the Republicans, like millions of others, and has only two pictures of herself with Donald Trump, who she does not know. She says it all comes down to prejudice. Nobody else has happened, only me. I think because I'm Chinese, I'm the you know, Chinese Republican. That's the issue. Is that what you believe? Yes. But dismissing the concerns that were raised may not be that simple. If we study how the Chinese intelligence services work, they are constantly looking for windows of opportunity to get next to their targets, get access to their political targets, their targets of wealth, power, and influence. Frank Faglusi is the former head of counterintelligence for the FBI. I'm convinced, um, after years of counterintelligence experience, that she would have been very much on their radar screen. You're aware that in the U.S. there's a tremendous amount of concern about Chinese espionage against the United States taking place right here. Uh, but I'm American citizen. I'm not a Chinese citizen. Her answers to specific questions won't satisfy everyone. But Yang says she hopes today's interview will help avert any pending FBI investigation. Cynthia McFadden, NBC News, Boca Raton, Florida. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.